when people will come to him in those last days. And they will say, Master, Master, we did many wondrous works in your sight, in your name. Jesus will say, go away from me, you who work badness, who work wrong. You made a claim for me, Allah. Okay. In Arabic, it's Allah. In Hebrew, it's Elah. It's, the English word is called cognate. Cognate means having the same etymological, meaning the same root words, which they share, the Semitic okay. languages. Okay, okay. You understand that, Aristotle? Yeah. So what we say, Islam is God's final message to mankind, that we worship none than the one true God. That's, his over, that's the overall message. If you believe that, that makes you a Muslim. What we say is there's only one God. God sends messengers to mankind. The, f the last messenger is the Prophet Muhammad, upon whom be peace. God's final messenger. So where Moses was given the Old Testament, not the one we have today, but the one he was given. New Testament was given to Jesus, not Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, which we have today. And the final testament was the Quran given to the Prophet Muhammad, upon whom be peace. God's final messenger, God's final revelation to mankind. This is how I want you to live. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you believe this, that makes you Muslim. If you believe in one God, God is not a man, not a woman, not an idol, not a statue. He's not a tree. He's unlike his creation. If you believe that, and then you believe God sends messengers. The final messenger is the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, they were all just messengers of God. That's all. Who come to their communities, to making them worship God and God alone. If you believe this aristocrat, that makes you a Muslim. Very, very easy. Many people are becoming Muslim. Yeah. Many. Uh, you, you know? Yeah. Yes. So our conversation is being recorded. Afterwards, you can watch it on YouTube. Okay. If you don't want to be on it, I can blur you out. Okay. Do you want me to blur you or would yeah, you like? Fine. You're fine. Good man. So lots of people have been doing lots of recording. We're approaching the public, having nice conversations. We're trying to reason to them, bring them to understand there's only one God. We're going to die one day, aristocrat. Yeah. And one day we're going to be accountable for our actions. Yeah. We have to then answer to God. So he, he wants you to understand that he, he wants a relationship with you by bowing, by worshipping him. Yeah. And the worship is the best way, humbling yourself, prostrating to him five times a day. You know the Old Testament, they prayed three times a day. In the same way we do, glorifying God. I would invite you to accept the message. I would invite you to accept Islam. So we have something called Judgment Day. Yes. I, I hope it's not mass, right? Same thing. I, I just told you that. Yeah. We will die one day. We will be accountable and, and God will judge us on Judgment Day. Yeah. So we believe Jesus will come again. Do you believe that? Too? Or is it going to be Prophet Muhammad? Jesus will come again. Okay. But he will destroy the concept that people made of him later on. In Matthew, in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, Jesus says, whoever calls me Lord, Lord, will not enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father, the one who does the God's will, he will. So he's even saying himself, when people will come to him in those last days, and they will say, Master, Master, we did many wondrous works in your science, in your name. Jesus would say, go away from me, you who work badness, who work wrong. You made a claim for me that I did not claim, like healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus is your God in the name of Jesus. Wake up if you've got some sort of crippling ailment. You see this on the God channel on satellite TV. These are the people who Jesus would say, away from me, you who work wickedness or you who work iniquity. You claim for me that I did not claim. So it's, it's to the glory of God everything is. Jesus was born without a man's home. He born from God, right? So doesn't it make him a It's God? a miracle. No, it doesn't. Because it, by that very understanding, it says in the Quran that Adam okay. was made in, in the likeness yeah, yeah, of Jesus, yeah. that in which he had no mother. So I beg your pardon. Yeah, he had no mother or father, but he was born. Eve came from the rib of Adam. Okay. King Nebuchadnezzar, sorry, King Melchizedek of Salem. You know about him? Yeah. In Hebrews. No mother, no father, no beginning, no end. He would have more of a claim to being God if he, if he has no... So it was a miracle. In the, in the Quran, Allah says that when Mary says, how can I have a son when no man has touched me? Allah says in the Quran, 
when I simply will something, I say be and it is. Kun fayakun. In the Old Testament, when Abraham is given glad tidings that his 90-year-old barren wife Sarah will give birth to a, to a, a boy, she laughs. She, how this, can this happen? She's barren and she's old. God says in the Bible, when I simply will something, I say be and it is in Genesis. It's just God's will. It doesn't mean make him God, no. Because the examples I've given to you show that a person without mother, without father, having no beginning, having no end in the form of King Melki Sadiq, he should be given that title of God. If you're going to give that analogy because Jesus was born without a father, hence it. No, no. That's the analogy. You understand? Yes. So Jesus was born miraculously. Yes, we accept that as Muslims. He was, he was a noble messenger, Messiah, come to redeem his people. But he's not God. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. It says, even it says in the Bible, God is not a man. Yeah. Numbers 23, 19, Hosea 11, 9. God is not a man. Understand? It's not his majesty that he becomes as a man. The moment you give God imagery to his creation, then you're giving God the same attributes as his creation. You're making God like his creation. You're not having the, the one supreme being who's created the whole universe from a singular metaphysical state, which is incomprehensible. We can't give imagery to God. It's unlike his creation. Makes sense? If you believe, do you believe this? What I've just said to you, do you believe like this? God is not like his creation. Excellent, that's how you think. If you think like this, this makes you a Muslim. God is the one who's created the whole universe. We're going to return to him. It's not befitting of his majesty that he's like anything within the universe. Islam is the only pure monotheistic faith. It never gives any attributes or any cre creation akin to God. It's very careful of this. If you come to a mosque, no pictures of men or idols or statues. No pictures. We just worship God alone. It's pure. It's very different in that way. Islam, by its very definition, is different from all the world's religions' names. Christian Judaism, land of Judea, tribe of Judah, Judaism. Christianity, Christ, Christianity. Buddhaism, Buddha, Buddhaism. Hinduism, the river Indus in the valley, geographical area. Zoroastrianism or Buddhism, all these other religions. But Islam means itself submission to the will of God. So Islam does not mean Mohammedanism. Islam means you submit your will to God. This makes you a Muslim. Its very definition is different. Submission to the will of God. Whilst the others, they take their name from their major, major figurehead, like or from a geographical area or from a tribe. But Islam doesn't do that. So it's very nature. Islam means submission to God's will. Final revelation given to the Prophet Muhammad. Worship God alone. We have a responsibility to worship Him. One supreme being. That's the message of Islam. The same God Jesus worshipped. You know, Jesus went on his hands and knees and worshipped God. Put his nose and, half, nose and forehead to the ground. This is how we pray. Does that make sense to you? Would you like to become Muslim today? Or would you want to, you want to learn more? Okay, that's fine. Let me give you a free copy of the Quran in English and some further literature. Come and, come and grab whatever you like. Come around the front. Wa alaikum as salam. How are you doing, Akhi? Okay? Finish? Yes. Jazakallah khair. Okay, my friend. So, you've got the Quran there in English. There's some nice literature in there as well. Have a nice read when you're able to. We're here regularly every Saturdays. Every Saturday. Yeah, from 2.30 p.m. to about 8.30, particularly in this summer months. Okay, okay. So if you want to come by again, maybe in a few weeks or whenever you can come by. Are you local to here? Or? Um, no, I came here to see my friends. So. Oh, I see. Okay, no problem. So you're welcome to come. We're here regularly and you can you know, have further discussion. Do have a read. Yeah. Okay. Great speaking to you, Aristocrat. I like your name, by the way. Yeah, it's called Sam Dawa. Sam Dawa, yes. Yes.
It's the top one. I think that's the top one. Let me show it to you so you can check it out later. I'm regularly, I'm regularly on there as well. I've got to place at Oxford University and other places to invite people to Islam here. Yeah. Yeah, you can see me here yeah. speaking to this guy. That's the channel Sam Dawa, and I will okay. he will upload it afterwards. Subscribe to the channel, yeah, and you will get a notification. Okay, nice speaking to you. I like your name. It's a lovely name. Thank you. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Take care. Take care.